Well, this is the BMW 3 Series E90 and what we're going to have a look at right now is diagnosing a fault on the vehicle which is uh, apparently a well-known fault within the Vanos system. Um, it is the, it's called a VVT motor, it's a valve tronic uh, motor or something to that effect. Um, basically we have the scan tool here. Uh, which will tell us what the exact fault code is and where the problem is per permitting. Um, I'm just going to click OK to this. Diagnose. Incidentally, this tool can be picked up just by clicking the link directly below this video. And I would say it's absolutely perfect and a lifesaver for anyone with a BMW. Um, so we've got the 3 Series here. OK to that. And we're in an E90, but it's also the same for the 91, 92, 93. So we'll OK to that and in the driver. Now the engine is the DME. So we're going to click on that and we're just going to read the fault codes. So it gives us a bit of vehicle information and it's going to ask us to read trouble code. Um, okay so the one we're looking at right here is 2A61 and it's valve tronic adaption and there might be some other codes uh, which relate to the Valvetronic system here. Um, but that's the code that has been constant. Um, and no matter how many times you erase that code, that code will still keep coming back. Um, because it is quite a serious fault. Um, at one point as well, it did also put on the engine warning light. Or the engine management light. Um, now another thing which backs up this particular code here. Is that when it was serviced from the dealer. As you can see, it's been into... Uh, Williams, it's a BMW um, invoice here. What have we got here? Um, notes, sort of recommended front and rear pads. Well, we had those changed. Um, recommend all ignition, coil, and a sensor um, for the parking that was all changed over. Uh, but this one hasn't yet been done. Recommend VVT motor. So that is the valve tronic. Um, adaption code that we were getting earlier. Um, it, at the minute it's not really affecting performance or anything like that but the code is still there. It is a common fault with these vehicles. Uh, this vehicle that we're in here is on 69,000 miles. Um, you might be lucky you might get a hundred thousand before it needs to be changed or you might be unlucky and you might only get forty thousand before it needs to be changed at which point I would imagine it will still be under warranty. Um, but there we go. So this is the tool, as I say. Um, it's a C110. Just take a quick look below this video. There'll be a link um, to where you can get this tool directly on the website. Um, and it's great for diagnosing any sort of um, BMW faults or anything like that. Um, it works with all sorts of BMWs. Um, from the older ones, sort of like the E36s. Uh, the E46s, the E39 5 series, the E38 7 series, um, and indeed the X5, X3s, um, the Z3, Z4s, and other 7 series and other vehicles as well uh, that I can't think of. Oh, and also Mini as well. It works with Mini as well. Um, so it's an excellent tool, and I would certainly recommend it for anybody who wants to diagnose whoops any vehicle problems sorry about this there's back there we go that's the main screen there so it shows you that it's mini and bmw that it covers